We must learn when to be water and when to be rock. Love one another always and in all ways. I resent stood on this sacred space. This chapel in many ways represents his voice and his vision, his desire for justice. It's a calm, reflective space now. Love one another always and in all ways. That's, that's pure Zeph. That's pure Zeph. And Zeph was a remarkable. In the days before, there were psychologists and people on staff to meet the, the needs of staff and students who were going through troubling situations they were about. Dad saw the world through the eyes of the serving class and went from a one-room schoolhouse to Western Maryland College in 1948, and after seminary, he returned here as dean of the chapel in 1963, only to then work on his PhD in theology and ethics, teaching classes like the life and thought of Martin Luther King, God, human suffering, and the Holocaust. Dad was about justice. He was down for justice. As one of the first African-American students at this college, Victor McTeer credits Ira for helping him deal with the pressures of life on an overwhelmingly white campus. After graduating from law school, Victor began to work in the Mississippi Delta as an activist lawyer. He was there because his friend Ira Zepp took him there as part of a service program. And at the age of 24, arguing before the Supreme Court to defend a woman who was denied a teaching job because she bore a child out of wedlock while she was a teenager. Vic won that case. I'm just very, very pleased at what I see here. To know that more than 35% of the freshman class are people of color. It is such an amazing transformation to see who we are now from where we were then. We've done this because of mentors. We all need heroes. We all need people that we look to yes. to inspire us. But in this instance, a tenant pharmacist from Hartford County and a, a young boy who was crazy enough to be raised by a school teacher and then decide to leave Northwest Baltimore and go to Mississippi and do well. The linkage between those two people is their common values and the game college. Dad believed that teaching is learning what you teach, loving who you teach, and living what you teach. And we can indeed honor that legacy today. This is sacred space. Amazing grace. How sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. So if the fountain becomes peaceful, and it tears up because it's us and them together. How sweet.